What's up, everybody? It's Kasim, and yeah, it's been a, what, a little over a year, somewhere around there, maybe a little longer. I don't know, but time to make a video about some sake. So let's get started. <sighs> okay, now there is one I've been kind of not really eyeing. At first, I didn't want to drink. I'm like, ah, I want to touch this one, um, but. I've seen it over and over and over. After a while, I'm like, fine, screw it. I'll go ahead and try it out. And then eventually I got it for free as a gift. So um, I was like, even better. And that is this one. Ah, you can see it. Yeah. Hello Kitty Sake. Definitely not for children. So make sure you're of, of legal drinking age. So don't go around drinking this if you're under, uh, say, 25, I guess. Let's be on the safe side. Um, either way, this is definitely rice, rice sake, 12.5% alcohol, the ingredients rice and rice koji, 300 milliliters. I've seen in stores, let's say if you went to like Tokyo Central or if you went to Mitsuwa, you'll definitely find them there. Uh, I've never seen this size bottle, but they're seen two different bottles. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is, I've never really went close up to go, let me see, you know, what's the main difference. But we're gonna find out how this one is. So, yeah, look at some rice is inside. Yeah, well, let's give it a try. Mm. Hmm. It smells pretty good. Um, similar to other other rice socket, well, socket base, just you know, that I've tried before. Maybe, I don't know, kind of like a little bit more sweeter than others I've, I've tried before, at least smell wise. Let's try it out. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to warm this up. Maybe try it out when it's kind of heated up, get it kind of hot a little bit. See how it tastes that way. But yeah, it tastes pretty good. This is like room temperature. Definitely a lot better than I expected. Definitely a lot better. Uh, will I recommend it? Sure. Why not? Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely will recommend. So if we're out looking to try out some new something new, uh, maybe a little more sweeter. Definitely sweeter than other uh, rice-based sake I've tried before. Um, I say go ahead, give it a try. Here it again. Here we go again. Hello Kitty. Never thought Hello Kitty would get into the sake business, but you know what? Uh, it's always good to diversify your business if you can. And definitely, sake is a good way to go. Now, take this over here. Now I'm going to be trying out... There was one I picked up by Choya. For those who know me, they know I love drinking some Choya. I have bought a one year old. Well, let me show you. This one right here. Let's see, get a close up. Okay. This is one year. Uh, well, technically, this one is nearly two years old. I bought this last year, it's already aged, and I just haven't touched it. I just sat around, you know, I had other stuff to take care of, and you know, the year, you know, nearly a year goes by and I'm like, totally forgot. I'm like, yeah, I still have this. It's like, why well, haven't I drinking it yet? So I'm like, eh, you know what? Time to get started. This one doesn't have any ume inside. It's a little opaque, too. I don't know if you could. Let's see. If you, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you look through the glass to the wall, you might be able to see that it's a little bit opaque. There's no ume inside, so, you know. If you like eating ume, there's none inside in this case. Now, I do have actually one that only has been aged one year. That's this one right here. But this one has ume in it, so you can see it here. And this one's definitely a lot more clear. So let's see if you can clean it. You can see like right through it with ease. So the difference in taste would be between these two. That, 
I do not know. Um, I have tried back. Oh God! What year was this? It's long. It was quite a while. Let's just say, let's just say, it was some years ago. Um, it was aged Choya. It was aged five years, that's what I recall, and it had a very deep flavor. It was still sweet, but it's like very, very deep. Tastes really, really good. Cost around, I think, thirty-two a bottle, something like that. Definitely was worth it. Now, for these two, I am curious what's going to be the main difference. Will one be more tart? Will one be more sweeter? I am not sure. So, which one should I go for first? You know what? I'll go for the one, that, I'll go for the one, the, the one year, and i go for this one, which is nearly two years. I'll do that. So. Uh. Oh yeah, this one, do they both have the same oil content? Let's see. Yes, they both have 15.5% alcohol. This one is 750 milliliters, 750 milliliters. Cool. Smells good, definitely good. It smells sweet. It's not really a strong smell. I mean, you can smell it, but it's not like, um, I'd say maybe hun the honey flavor of Choya. That one has a strong smell. It smells. This one, not as strong. It smells good, but not as. Well, time to try, try it out. Sweet, tart. Oh yeah, just the way I like it. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely you can taste the age on this one. Tastes really, really good. This I got for well, I got it on sale, so I didn't spend the full full price. Is usually between what nineteen to twenty two dollars, depending where you go. This one I got for what? 12, I think. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. All right. Now, I'm going to try the one that's nearly two years old. But before I try it, let me let my palate kind of simmer in a little bit, kind of rush the sweetness off my tongue. Because if you're drinking Choya, they're generally sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. This is a different smell. It's sweeter, it's... <sighs> How can I explain it? Definitely a deeper smell to it. Not... Oh, let see. It's hard to explain, but you can definitely smell, I can smell the difference, but... It's, I would say definitely a deeper smell. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, whoa. Yeah, this is quite different. Whoa. Hmm. This one's a little hard to describe. Definitely a deeper flavor, but the tartness is 
The tartness and the sweetness. Oh. How can I put it? I would say definitely there's a big difference. Um, in sweetness, it's hard to say. I would say it, it almost kind of feels like a little less sweetness. Uh, definitely a bold, I would say definitely bolder, yeah, bolder taste. Bolder, deeper. Mm. But there's something else to it I can't put my finger on. Nonetheless, I still like it a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely get a chance. Try them both. If you, if you can't, age one another year or two, even better. Get, you know, change the flavor up. Yeah, these generally, of course, are going to cost you, like I said earlier before, eight, no, what, $19, $22? I would say it's definitely worth it. I guess that's going to be it for now. Uh, when you get a chance, definitely try it out. A bottle like this, oh, a small bottle, how much would this go for? Maybe eight to ten bucks, possibly. I don't know. That I'll have to check on, though. That I'm not sure of. But when you get a chance, try it out. Um, and definitely don't forget to try out. I'll say try out both. See if there's a difference between them both. I think mainly the difference would be probably between these two. Since these, this one still has ume in it, that might be why the, the flavor of boss is so hugely different too, where this one hasn't had it. So I guess the way they aged, the flavors, I guess, having the ume in it being aged and this one without it makes a big difference. My guess, it almost looks like, since it's kind of opaque, my guess is at the bottom, this is very opaque, it could be that sugar at the bottom. So... Definitely, I would say try them both out and, you know, decide from there. See which one you like the most. So I guess that's it for right now. Until next time. Later.